Hi there, this is Kenny Dutton, Mobile My Card and Mobile Marketing Cafe. Just think of me as an old friend. I like to treat people, even if I've never met them, I like to treat them like I've known them all my life. So, just a friend. Just a friend here to try to tell you about if you're using uh, the old way of marketing, uh, it's not doing you any good. So I'm going to teach you a little bit about the new way, the way that's a lot more effective. So just think where, you know, some of the presidents had a fireside chat. Just think of this as just a chat between two old friends, me, Kenny Dutton, and you, sitting there with a cup of coffee, and here's my coffee. So you get yours, and we'll have a little chat. This will be a series that will teach you uh, new ways to get new customers, to keep your old customers, to have them come more often and spend more money. So let's start out with the old ways that you're probably still using. A lot of people are still using these old ways and they're, they're not really effective. Television. There's television, there's radio, there's newspaper, there's print ads, and all kinds of things like that that are the old ways of marketing. Today we're in a digital age, but let me start with television. Now I'm going to be giving away a little bit about my age here, but Television, I, we had our first TV in 1949. I was four years old. And I remember shows like The Lone Ranger, Uncle Milty, for those of you don't, that don't know who Uncle Milty is, Milton Berle, the comedian. A lot of you still may not even know who that is. <laughs> but 1949, <coughs> excuse me, um, shows like Uncle Milty were... Brought to you by just one sponsor. Uh, in his case, it was Texaco. Texaco Star Chief. Uncle Melty's show was called the Texaco Hour. And there was just one sponsor, one commercial between segments. Then, as time went on, there became two sponsors. And they had three sponsors. And every couple years... They seem to have more and more sponsors because guess what? They wanted to make more money. And that's understandable. We all want to make more money. You want to make, make more money. But it evolved to the point where I guess it was a, a month or two ago we finally watched uh, you know, we have Netflix and things like that where they don't have commercials. But we finally uh, watched an, a TV on regular cable, and we were waiting between segments. And I decided to start counting how many commercials there were. I think I counted like 12 or 13 commercials. This, this is called interruptive marketing for a reason. Uh, interruptive marketing is in TV, and is, is in radio, and even to a certain extent, newspapers and print material. Uh, I mean, it really irritates you. It irritated me, and I'm sure it irritates you. So now a lot of people, especially with uh, TiVo and things like that, will even record the show and then fast forward through the commercials. So what good does that do? And those things cost tons of money. So they're not really cost effective much anymore unless it's like Super Bowl ads which cost a million dollars but everybody in the world is watching it and they, they're captive they have to watch it um, but still it's only they're only getting to a certain segment of the market those people that are truly interested in what those commercials are selling now let's let's go to radio the same thing with radio I uh, was listening to radio the other day, and a DJ said something about, uh, we're going to play this song next, but first, a word from these sponsors. 
And it was again advertisement after advertisement after advertisement after advertisement, so much so that I basically stopped listening to that station and turned it over to another station that had a song that was playing a song I liked. Again, interruptive marketing. Again, irritating. A thing of the past. Not cost effective, but they cost tons of money. Uh, those of you who are advertising on radio and TV know what I'm talking about. Lots and lots of money. How's that working for you? Are you getting ROI from it? I guess probably you are a little bit, but not, not really effective. Newspapers. Now, newspapers are still interruptive advertising because, uh, you know, you're going to have to bypass them with your eyes, but that's what people do. They bypass them with their eyes. Unless it's something that they're really, really, truly interested in, if they're interested in buying a washing machine and there's a sale on washing machines, then they're going to look at it. But 99.9% .9 of the people are going to just bypass those ads. And those, those cost tons and tons of money, just like the radio and TV ad. Not as much, of course. But those of you who are advertising in, in, uh, in uh, uh, newspapers and print material know what I'm talking about. Hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Not really effective. How's that working for you? Just a rhetorical question. I mean, you can't answer me because you're, you're not right here. But pre just pretend you are right here drinking coffee with me. Oh, that's good stuff. Anyway, uh, news and newspapers also are going by the wayside. They are becoming very quickly a thing of the past. Mailers. You spend hundreds of dollars on mailers, and guess what? Some people don't even open them. They throw them in the trash before they even open them. And when they do open them, they just bypass everything that they're not interested in. Again, interruptive marketing. Again, irritating. People get irritated getting all that stuff in their mailbox. They call it junk mail for a reason, because they consider it junk. And then there's the Yellow Pages phone book. I know a lot of you, many, many of you are still advertising in the Yellow Pages phone book. How's that working for you? Costing hundreds and hundreds of dollars even a month or a thousand dollars a month. I know you're there because the Yellow Pages is still this thick. Unless you live where I do in, in, in Gloria de Pecos, New Mexico. And then the entire phone book is only, I can't even make my fingers small enough to show you how small that phone book is. But still, the same thing. Interruptive advertising. I'll tell you what we use the phone book for here. And I'm sure a lot of you out there do the same thing. We don't look things up there anymore because it's a digital world. We look everything up on our phone, on our computer, on the internet. We tear the pages out of the phone book and use that paper to help start the fire in the fireplace when it gets cold. And believe me, it does get cold here. It gets below zero. So a uh, phone book probably won't last us <laughs> all year long. We'll have to find other pieces of paper to throw in the fireplace. But anyway, uh, I am here. And in, in these segments, you're going to learn about effective marketing called permission-based marketing, digital marketing, mobile marketing, that kind of stuff. And the ROI on that is way, way tremendously higher and more effective than any of that interruptive marketing. You're better putting your marketing dollars in, in those kinds of marketing. And that's what I'm here for. Your old friend, Kenny Dutton. Kenny Dutton. I slurred that word. I'm not drunk. I'm drinking coffee. <laughs> but your old friend, Kenny Dutton, will be teaching you about those methods and how you can get more customers more often that spend more money. And here's to you and hope that you will come back and watch the other episodes. For now, over and out. Talk to you later.